Good afternoon, Lonnie Stevenson here with River Scene Magazine. I'm here in Lake Havasu at the Hampton Inn with Kyle Petty, yep. former NASCAR driver and current TV analyst for NBC Sports, who just wrapped up day one of... Day one, yes. Ride number 26. Ride number 26, hard to believe. We've been waiting like uh, two and a half years for ride number 26 because of COVID. Right. Uh, so we first came through here in uh, the end of 19, I guess, um, in, in November and then our site inspection. So we've been trying to get back to um, Lake Havasu and the London Bridge and the water and the heat and all <laughs> that heat. stuff for, for two and a half years. Luckily, no wind today. We no wind. wind. Thank goodness, yes. no wind, man. Yeah. That would have just added to the excitement. Right. You know, throw something else in. Right. I knew we weren't going to get in snow or hail, so I was yeah, good with that. So no rain yeah, gear. No, no rain gear. So rain and, and a little wind. That would have been all right. Nice. So '94, this all started. Yep. You and now I've heard three and four driver guys it, started out. It was Harry. In the beginning, it was Harry, myself. Uh, Don Tilly, Click Baldwin, uh, and a couple other guys, and, and we just kind of we rode out from uh, North Carolina, to, from North Carolina to Phoenix to the race, and we came up with the idea that we just wanted to ride motorcycles from California back to North Carolina. So we talked. We thought we had talked about 15 people, but it ended up being about 35 people. Uh, we had no hotel reservations. We had nothing. We just, just ride. We, we just started riding. Uh, and then it was so much fun. We said we'd do it again, and then we said it was so much fun. We'll never do it again. But we did it again anyhow. Uh, so once we got past three years, then we said, let's try to make it to five. We made it to five, and then it was like, let's make it to ten. And that's the way it's been ever since. You know, it's like every, after you finish, like we finished the 25th, and it was like, let's, let's just stop. Let's just stop. And it's like, no, we got to go again. You, can't, you gotta just keep going, so that's where we're at. Now I heard in a recent interview, you actually, when you're gone, you want your ashes in a <laughs> Coke, Coke bottle and a Coca-Cola bottle. And, uh, and still be part of the ride. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be in a 64 ounce or a little eight ounce. You know <laughs> Two I mean? liter. Yeah, the, I, I don't know what I'm gonna be in. So uh, hopefully they'll put me in one and bring me back along again uh, for a couple more years. And then, then they can just throw me in. They can just throw me to the wind somewhere and I'll be good with that. Nice. Um, 95 it started getting organized 2000 we had the accident in may yeah, yep and then the idea evolved for well Victory yes. junction yeah adam and i had been to to a couple of camps like like what Victory junction would become and because i had raced with paul newman and some sports car stuff and when the accident happened then that's what it became uh, and it took us all the way to 2004 uh with doing continuing to do the ride and save money and save money and save money so we could start but we opened camp in 2004. We've seen 90 or 100,000 people, uh, kids, campus touched uh, since 2004, and uh, that's all the money that we raise goes to send kids to camp. So it's been, and this has been a, this is a, the camp's largest fundraiser. So uh, two years off uh, was kind. We were getting kind of yeah. antsy, man. We needed to get back and be able to send kids to camp. And it's quite a quite a feat putting this together. It is for somebody. Um, yeah. I just ride. <laughs> I saw, I saw, my wife does this. My wife Morgan uh, and, and Jenny Talley, who is our PR and media person, she contacts you guys and gets all this stuff going. So, um, but it is, it's a full time job because, you know, it, it's, it's just like right now, you're in the middle of COVID and, you know, food prices are changing, gasoline prices are changing, so you constantly have to adjust your budget. Uh, we've been very, very fortunate. The people here in Lake Havasu and the people here at the Hampton Inn have been great to work with. We had reservations back in, in 2020, they let us roll them over to 2021. Oh, nice. They let us roll them over again to 2022. So they have just gone out of their way to make this possible because uh, there were other hotels that said, no, you missed your window. And we didn't miss the window. Yeah. COVID, COVID knocked us out of our window. So uh, it is, it's, it's a full-time job. Now, um, this year you're starting in Phoenix, yep. came here, and then you're going up Oatman and up to yep. the Grand Canyon Flagstaff. Um, you end up looping back, back to Phoenix. Have you done that before? Have never you done, done that before. before. No, never done that before. But w the reason we decided we would do it was because the 2019 ride was our 25th, and we rode from Seattle to Key Largo. So that was like 38, <laughs> 3900 miles. So we we're like, we're gonna do an easy ride next year. You know, I mean, we're just gonna do a loop somewhere. And everybody wanted to come to the southeast or southwest. Uh, Phoenix has been a great place for us to fly in and out of, to get in and out of. So we started looking around. We'd never been to Havasu. We'd never really been to Flagstaff. We'd never been to Monument Valley. Uh, we'd, we'd passed through Sedona and passed through Bryce Canyon once or twice. But there were places we could go that were brand new to us. So 
Uh, this is our first time here, and I think everybody was excited to it come here. Nice, uh, so it, it was it was one of those things where we could knock off some new places, still go to some places that we're familiar with, and end up back where uh, where everybody could get home. Bucket list for a lot of people is is visit all 50 states. Yes, you you've been able we, to do that with this ride. Right. I've been close, man. Been all other than Alaska and Hawaii. Yeah, other than Alaska and Hawaii, we need to just ship and go do that one time, <laughs> just, just for just for kicks and just knock out Alaska and Hawaii on the same trip. That'd be good. starting Alaska and end in Hawaii. That would be good. Just ride around on the boat the whole time. Get on, get on yeah. one of the shipping but, containers. But you, it, it is it is a beautiful country. When you when you when you have an opportunity to ride it, it is really. Beautiful. Now, at the end of the day, this is Victory Junction. Victory Junction is in honor of Adam. Yes. Tell me about Adam. No, he, listen, he was just a 19-year-old kid who liked to race. Um, and, and, you know, it depends on, for me, he was a son. And, and that's kind of the way I look at it. So everybody will look at him different. You know, I, I run into people, people that run line here had met him uh, when he run up in Colorado or when he run down in Vegas and run some stuff. So they, they knew him and how they perceive him, that's how they remember him. How I remember him as a son and he was a 19 year old kid and he had a 17 year old brother and a 15 year old sister and uh, they were just kids, you know? So, uh, you know, I, I think, I, and I tell people all the time, he would be embarrassed to know that we, that there's a camp and it has his name yeah. on it and that, that part of it. Uh, but he was, uh, to a lot of people, he was a special kid to us. He was that well, I. I can tell you personally, he was special to us. Yeah. Um, I was involved in NASCAR back in the 90s, did some did some work for some of the publications. I was one of the West Coast guys yeah. for Winston Cup scenes. Yes. Oh, yeah. And that, and I got to be around Adam um, a little bit at Vegas and that. Yeah. So in 2005, my current wife and I had our first son. We named him after our two grandfathers. And then for son number two, we picked the name Adam. Oh, no way, man. No way. And, and part pleasure. of it was influenced because of Adam. God Petty, bless you. Whose banner still flies yeah. in our garage. Thank you very much. That means a lot. That he means was, a lot to me personally. Thank you. He was a very neat kid. So yeah. um, we're in Lake Havasu. Havasu's actually got a little bit of NASCAR connections here. Well, um, I hear that. Um, so, yeah, Tony's here. Tony's here. Here and there. Yeah. Uh, is he, Robbie here? He pops in. Robbie is... I knew Robbie had been through here. Robbie he, Gordon had been Robbie in Robbie is getting ready through. to open up a, a store here. Oh, good for him. Store. Good for him. Um, back in the day, Kurt raced here. Yep. Yep. Um, and Kyle started his career yeah. a little bit here. A um, couple, of, couple of other kids that raced here ended up going on to be team members. Uh, Almquist kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then um, right now we have Riley Herbs. Oh, yeah. yeah. So his grandparents live here. Oh, no way. No so, way. He's a good kid. Really so good kid. Wouldn't really think of Havasu being yeah, a Yeah, no, bed, you wouldn't think of it. My gosh, man. Yeah. I thought Havasu was just about boats, man. I didn't well, know you had cars. Off road stuff, too. Oh, yeah. I got you on that. Well, I can see that. Dri driving in the town, I can see that. Thought I was going off road a couple of times, but that's a whole other story. We don't need to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> so, people that want to help Victory Junction, yeah. how do they do so? Uh, you can just go straight to the Victory Junction website and it's victoryjunction.org or go to kylepettycharityride.com uh, follow where we're going, what we're doing uh, and you make a donation to camp and, or to, to the ride and it's a pass through and it goes straight to camp to send kids to camp. So and there's no better. That's it. No, no better we don't think feeling. so. Very good. Kyle, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Great having you here in Havasu. Yeah. Thank you, Finn. Thank you. Morning, Lonnie Stevenson here with River Scene Magazine. I'm here in Lake Havasu with uh, seven-time champion, 200 race win, NASCAR Hall of Fame, whatever, <laughs> Presidential Medal of Freedom, uh, the King, Richard Petty. Welcome to Lake Havasu. Yes, sir, man. It's the first time here and I'm really enjoying it. Well, wait till you get to Oatman a little bit later. It's going to be even better. All right. <laughs> uh, so we're writing in honor of Adam. Tell me a little bit about Adam. Well, you know, Adam was the third, fourth generation Petty. And my dad started racing, I raced, Kyle, my son raced, and my grandson started racing, and uh, you know, had an accident, and, and he got killed. And after that, then, up until that time, he, him and his dad had been to a camp in uh, Florida, and uh, they would have worked with uh, chronically and seriously ill kids. And Adam said, why can't we do that at home? And so he come back, and he started looking for some land, looking for some getting some people behind him and stuff, and then we lost him. And then once we did that, then the family got together and said, you know, he was just something that give everybody a memory of, of yeah. Adam, and, and it's something that he would have got done if he'd have been here. So uh, up 
started working on that thing like 15, 16 years ago, something like that, and uh, wound up with uh, Victory Junction Camp for chronic uncertainty or kids, you know, right in the middle of North Carolina. So uh, it's been good, and that's that's what the Kyle Petty Charity Ride. We ride over the country every year and stuff, and contribute the money that we make here. It all goes to the camp. Now, um, I heard you once say that uh, every time you see a camper smile, it's almost like seeing right, just, Adam smile. Yeah, it, it just lights up the world, okay. And it, and it brings our memory back to the way we remember Adam. And, uh, you know, like I said, he, he would have been there. I don't know if we would have got him back in a race car once to see how happy all those kids were at camp. And Austin runs the camp for you? Ran, yeah, he ran a little bit. Adam's younger yeah, brother, right. Austin. So, you know, we got... All of our business and stuff, we got Ken people involved in it, so yeah. keeps it all going. Well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes. You got a big day ahead of you, and I uh, wish you nothing right. but success. Right. Thank you, guys. We appreciate y'all as part of the country. Thank okay? you for coming. All right.